Inside $1.5 billion skyscraper in Malaysia, PNB Merdeka, 118 Tower. Greetings, everyone! KL's concrete jungle looks to be thriving. Have you noticed a super tall building under construction in Kuala Lumpur lately? You might have at first thought it was the TRX building before recalling that the TRX was already complete. Actually, that strange glassy building you saw in the midst of being built is the Merdeka PMB 118, aka the latest addition to Malaysia skyscrapers and soon to be the second tallest building in the world after the Burj Khalifa. Standing taller than the Petronas Twin Towers, TRX and KL Tower, the Merdeka PNB 118 is predicted to be completed in 2021. It will be 118 floors high and is situated next to Stadium Merdeka and Stadium Nagara. In today's video, we are going to tell you what's inside the $1.5 billion skyscraper in Malaysia. Let's get started! The height is impressive! Everyone in Kuala Lumpur has probably heard about the existence of PNB 118, more commonly known as Merdeka 118. It is the unfinished skyscraper that will eventually overtake Exchange 108 as the tallest building in Malaysia upon its completion in 2021. The best part is, Merdeka 118 will be the second tallest building in the world, soaring the sky at an impressive height of 678.9 meters, which is around 149 meters less than the Burj Khalifa. 828 meters. Exquisite design of the tower. The design of the tower is based on the silhouette of Tunku Abdul Rahman, raising his hand while chanting Merdeka on 31st August 1957, which we can all agree as Malaysians was an iconic moment. The spire that tops the building is meant to look like Tunku Abdul Rahman's hand during the chant. It's quite an impressive feat that the shape of this high rise building is commemorating the symbol of our freedom. Even though the architects Fender and Catsalidis are Australian born. They will still reflect our Malaysian culture. Acknowledging that Malaysia is a multicultural nation, the mixture of triangle designs making up the building symbolizes the different ethnics in the country. The tower has three different sections. This multi story building consists of 118 floors, hence the name, which from below will house 83 stories of grade A offices and 17 stories of Park Hyatt Hotel. Amenities such as Sky Lobby, VIP lounges and more will be at the top in the remaining 18 floors, including the observation deck and restaurants, which will be on the four highest floors. Thrill seekers will enjoy eating high up in the sky. If dining 282 meters in the sky at the Atmosphere 360 KL Tower is exciting, try eating at around 500 meters above ground at the Merdeka 118. Phase 1 of the development is the Merdeka 118, the tower itself, whereas Phase 2 is the Merdeka 118 Retail Mall and the Merdeka Boulevard 118 Linear Park. Both of these phases will be completed in 2022. Phase 3, the three residential towers surrounding the Merdeka 118 Tower, will be completed in 2024. Offices, Guest Rooms and Suites Merdeka 118 will feature 83 floors of premium office space, whilst the Park Hyatt Luxury Hotel will take up residence in the top one floors, with approximately 250 guest rooms and suites that are designed to embrace the unparalleled sweeping views of the city skyline. The hotel will offer approximately 1,850 square meters of meeting space for conferences and events. The Mega Tomber Deca 118 is pursuing a rigorous environmental program and is seeking triple platinum sustainability certification under the USGBC's LEED program, the Malaysian Green Building Index GBI, and the Malaysian Green Read program. The Structure The Merdeka 118 Retail Mall connects the Merdeka 118 office tower with the accompanying smaller residential towers and features a connection to Kuala Lumpur's public transport network via a Merdeka MRT station. The 147,756 square meter mall will provide space for more than 328 stories. As a whole, the Merdeka 118 development is one of the largest projects undertaken in Malaysia. Turner is managing construction of the tower as well as providing project management services for the multi-level retail mall and infrastructure portions of the development. Permo Delon National Berhad PNB, a Malaysian investment firm, is paying for the mega project. Estimated cost MYR 5 billion, 1.5 billion US dollars. The design and construction of Merdeka PNB 118 is an international effort with Australian and American architects and engineers involved in bringing the building into being. 
depending on its completion date and the status of other projects, Rodeca PMB 118 will be the second tallest building in the world when it opens. Did you know, Merdeka in English means independence, so the name of the tower is to celebrate Malaysia's liberation. The tower overlooks Stadium Merdeka and Stadium Negara, hence the name Merdeka 118. The number 118 essentially represents a tower having 118 floors. The project is expected to contribute as high as RM11 billion, 2.7 billion, to the local economy and create over 10,000 employment opportunities across hundreds of industries. Isn't that amazing? Glass Paneled Elevator It has the tallest glass paneled elevator in the world and highest observation deck in Asia. The elevator that is used to reach the observation deck is attached on the side of the building and it will use glass panels. Since the observation deck is located on the highest floor of the skyscraper, it will undeniably be the tallest glass paneled elevator in the world. Moreover, the observation deck will be the highest observation deck in Asia. In the near future, visitors can travel up more than 100 stories in a glass box while looking out the city. The experience will definitely be breathtaking. To get to the top floors of the building, you won't be getting into any ordinary lift. The exterior lift at Rodeca 118 Tower has a full height glass panel of the elevators for people to enjoy the view outside as they go up. Plus, it would only take 65 seconds to get from the ground to the top. Photo Spot Tall skyscrapers are always hard to capture, especially if you want to be in the frame. It requires you to be a certain distance to get the best picture, and it might not even fit the whole building. However, the Merdeka 118 will feature a photo spot in the vicinity of the building, which has an elevated platform intended for visitors to take photos of the skyscraper. The platform will be placed across the recreational park from the building. How cool is that? The genius behind the making of this tower. Fender Cat Solidus, the Australia-based architecture firm, turned its vision to reality in creating this magnificent tower in our beloved city. It's no surprise how amazing this creation is, considering the company also created Eureka Tower, the tallest building in Australia. The Fender Cat Solidus architects also contributed to providing luxury housing projects in Tamanduta, Kuala Lumpur. The Night Look the building at night looks fantastic. The building shape might resemble the past. However, at night, you'll notice a futuristic vibe to the city skyline. The soon-to-be second tallest building in the world will be equipped with light strips that gradually move from one corner to another. Bottom line, if you think that some of the tallest towers in the world are impressive now, then you've seen nothing yet. Not only will the next generation of skyscrapers be among the tallest in the world, with one becoming the tallest, and by a long way, they are also far greener too. Extremely tall buildings present a conundrum for growth markets. Presenting to the world an image of progress and dynamism is crucial to making progress and dynamism real by attracting more FDI and boosting the confidence of current investors. Super tall buildings also signal the willingness of a city to transform itself. But there is a flip side to all of that. It takes an enormous amount of energy to construct a super tall building and finding buyers or renters for the real estate inside is not guaranteed for the builder. An oversupply of office space can also drive down the price of office space in a metropolitan real estate market, paradoxically discouraging future construction of office space. While PNB 118 will surely stand as a symbol of pride for Malaysia, even the biggest skyscraper is just one small part of the puzzle of economic development. What are your thoughts about it? Do you want to visit this building in the near future? We all sure do! But let us know in the comment section below.